my name is Rena Bunting, and I'm here to talk about how to heal from toxic or narcissistic breakups with grace and dignity by gathering the tools and building your own boat of self-love and rowing merrily down the stream to your best life ever. And I'm coming to you from my chair in Galveston, Texas to talk to you about a question that I have been asked and that I've seen before. And the question is, do narcissists have a more miserable life as they get older? Like, you know, I know what they're saying. They're saying that when they get older, are they going to be finally struck down with karma? That's what they're asking me. And this is the answer. So yes and no, because, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. When a narcissist, when you're talking about a narcissist, you're talking about somebody that's full of themselves. There's probably a couple of reasons, and I bet they are charismatic or good-looking, muscular, something. There's something special about them, and in their youth, maybe they were a favorite, or they weren't, but they might have been the captain of the pothead team. You know what I mean? Whatever. They were the cool ones. Whatever. That's what I picture when I picture a narcissist, somebody that's kind of coolish. You know what I mean? So when you're young, you can play that off and stuff like that. And then you get older. You know what I mean? You're the muscular teenager. You know what I mean? Narcissism, man. That's fucking, that's grand. I'm, you know what I mean? That's, you get all that attention and, and the multiple sources. And that's probably when you make most of your mistakes. You know what I mean? Because we're not, you know, comp you know what I mean? Even if we're narcissists, people are people. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, there's I mean, all kinds of degrees of stupidity, but come on now. Let's not slap labels on everybody's head about what we think about who they are. I'm not going to judge. So this, if this applies to you, what I say, then cool. If not, then you know what I mean? Move along. But so here's the deal. So no, I would say no, a narcissist, as far as the material world and, and the earthly desires and, and stuff like that. And, and, uh, sex, you know, women, uh, men, you know what I mean? If you've got money, your life is going to be on fire in a lot of ways. And I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, you can have a good life with money even if you're miserable. If I'm miserable drinking out of a crystal goblet and I got a lobster tail on my plate, I've got a small amount of pleasure on my yacht. Right? On my boat. My yacht. Shit. Cruise ship. <laughs> so let's, you know what I mean? Let's not be ridiculous. So, a really good looking person, even if they get older, yeah, they're always going to have bitches too. Especially nowadays. Nowadays, you know, women, just so that you know, men, they got game too. They, I mean, it's all free. Women pass that stuff out. It's passed out. It's free. They don't got to be good. I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why we talk about narcissism and toxicity more is because it's free. They don't care. They don't care. Nobody cares. There's probably a nigga miss. Yeah, I mean, that's a different rant. Anyway. So here's, here's the bottom line. Here's what happens. It's their soul. And no, I'm not going into religion. I'm talking about your spirit, that person underneath you, the, the hurt person, the person that when they were kids and whatever happened, you know what I mean? Something happened in their life to where, you know what I mean? They were like Johnny with one tooth and stuff, you know what I mean? Walking down the road and with his fishing pole, like Opie Taylor and stuff. And then I don't know, Andy Taylor died and and he went to the foster home or, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but in the 80s and 90s, dude, we were all on dope, man. We didn't see those kids. We tossed them box cereal, you know what I mean? We weren't looking at our kids. That's what's wrong. I take responsibility for mine. I wish I would've did different. I loved them, you know what I mean? We loved partying together for days. See, I'll never lie to you. I'll never lie to you people. I don't gotta, I don't gotta lie to kick it. I'm not ashamed of myself. Everything that I've done has led me to this place that I'm at. And I'm in a pretty doggone good place in my mind, you know? So anyway, um, so it's their soul. So what happens is, is when you're young, you got all that Christmas stuff like that. Well, okay, so you're wandering up the mountain of, you know, the whole time you're like, the grass is greener. This grass sucks. Grass is greener. And you're going up the mountain. You're like, I'm, I'm cheating something because I'm making more money. You know, better looking woman or man. I got more things, right? Woo hoo, woo 
woohoo, I'm still climbing. Well, there's a point that you hit when you get older that everything kind of changes. And, and one of the things that change, and maybe through some life experiences, you know what I mean? Maybe through some loss or some, just some tragedy and stuff like that. A lot of times I see that turn into this. But when you get older, that's why older people are more thoughtful and stuff like that. Because, because we go through this transformation where it's like, oh, I kind of get it. You know what I mean? You can't be a dickhead. You know what I mean? You can't. But narcissism, what, the MPD thing, they never quite get that. But... You know what I mean? Logically, come on. You know what I mean? Just don't be a dickhead. But anyway, um, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. That doesn't mean everybody is insane. Crazy, crazy. So anyway, so what happens is, is on their way down to the, to the last final call. You know what I mean? It's the final countdown. And and they can't have exactly the women that they want. They could have whatever book. You know, it just depends. It depends on what they did with their life. But you know that you're on the final countdown. And that's whether you believe in God or, the, or you know, Buddha or, or you don't believe in anything at all. There's a final countdown. Something's going to happen to you. Your body's going to stop working. And 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 you never got your, your full cup. You never. You know, this whole time you had a cup and you're like sloshing around being an asshole. You know what I mean? Slo getting everything all messy and then people are trying to pour some some of their cup into your cup, you know, it's always half, you know what I mean? Because you're just shaking around, they're pouring it in, and you're dumping it on them, and, and you're just, you know what I mean? And and so going through life and stuff, and your cup just never gets full, but you think that since you're going up and up and up and up and up and up and up, that your cup's gonna, you know what I mean? It's just around the corner, it's on the next green of grass, and you're you're knowing this, you're, ah, oh, I could be this, I'm so sick of being fucking, being, and that's how they feel. Because they just can't get that full cup. That's what they feel like. And um, so anyway. So now they're going down to the final countdown. And that cup never got full. And they know damn well it's not going to now. They know it. Beyond a doubt. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Game over. I mean they're still living. And the guys with the boats. And still got the girls and stuff. Yeah it's empty because they never had that full cup. So you can't really have a healthy relationship unless, I mean, they got to kind of have a full cup and you got to have a full cup and you both have a full cup and you slosh each other around. You get it? See what I mean? You don't want to let any go ahead and have like still that half empty, fingerprinty, sad cup. You want to have a bunch of cups, legacy, a bunch of grandkids. You know what I mean? You want to, everybody love you. It's a celebration. I picture diamonds and jewels when I picture that crowd that I hope surrounds me when I pass because I try to be a good person. My name is Rena Bunting and I teach people how to build their own boat of self-love so they can row, row, row merrily down the stream to the best life that they could imagine. And believe me, I know how to do this. I've been studying for this my whole life. If you like this, like and share. Thank you.